Crate training is a valuable tool for dog owners, offering a safe and secure space for your furry friend. However, the initial crate training phase can be met with some vocal disapproval from your pup. Excessive barking in the crate can be frustrating for both you and your dog. But fear not, with patience and the right approach, you can help your dog feel comfortable and quiet in their crate. Understanding why dogs bark in crates. Before diving into solutions, let's explore the reasons behind the barking. Here are some common culprits. 1. Anxiety. A new crate can be a scary and unfamiliar environment, leading to anxiety-induced barking. 2. Boredom. If your dog lacks stimulation, they might bark out of frustration. 3. Need to eliminate. Dogs naturally avoid eliminating where they sleep. If the crate isn't the right size or hasn't been properly cleaned, barking might be their way of communicating discomfort. 4. Attention seeking. Sometimes, even unintentional attention from barking, like talking to them or letting them out when they bark, can reinforce the behavior. Creating a positive crate experience. The key to stopping crate barking lies in creating a positive association with the crate. Here are some steps to get you started. 1. Make it a den. Transform the crate into a cozy haven by adding a comfortable bed, a favorite blanket, or a safe chew toy. Consider covering part of the crate with a breathable cloth to create a den-like atmosphere. 2. Feed meals in the crate. Turn crate time into a positive experience by feeding your dog their meals inside. Start with the door open and gradually close it as they eat comfortably. 3. Crate games. Make crate time fun with short, positive crate games. Hide treats inside for them to find or use a puzzle feeder to keep them occupied. 4. Positive reinforcement. Reward calm and quiet behavior in the crate with praise, treats, or a gentle ear scratch. The key is to reward silence, not barking. 5. Location, location, location. Place the crate in a central location where your dog can feel included in family activities. Avoid isolating them in a remote area of the house. The gradual approach, crate training with silence. Now, let's address the barking itself. Here's a step-by-step -step guide using a gradual approach. 1. Start short. Begin with short crate sessions with the door open. Gradually increase the duration as your dog becomes comfortable. 2. Capture calm. Wait for a moment of quiet within the crate, even a brief pause in barking. Then, reward your dog with a treat or praise. Repeat gradually increasing the length of quiet time required for a reward. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. 3. Close the door, for short intervals. Once your dog is comfortable in the open crate, briefly close the door while they are calm. Wait for a moment of silence, then open the door and reward them. Gradually increase the duration of the closed door time with quiet in between. 4. Ignore the barking, with limits. While rewarding quiet behavior, it's important to ignore barking. However, there's a fine line. Don't ignore barking caused by discomfort, like needing to eliminate, or extreme anxiety. Don't let your dog out of the crate when they're barking. This reinforces the barking as a way to get what they want. Wait until they are quiet for a short period before letting them out. Remember, be patient and consistent. This process takes time, so don't get discouraged if your dog doesn't become a Zen master in the crate overnight. Addressing underlying issues. Sometimes, barking might be a symptom of a larger issue. Here are some things to consider. 1. Proper crate size. Ensure the crate is big enough for your dog to stand up, turn around, and lie down comfortably. A crate that's too small can lead to discomfort and barking. 2. Potty training. Make sure your dog is well on their way to potty training before expecting them to hold it for extended periods in the crate. Take them out frequently, especially after meals and playtime. 3. Exercise needs. A tired dog is a less anxious dog. Ensure your dog gets enough physical and mental exercise before crate time. 
If the barking persists despite addressing these factors, consult with a professional trainer or veterinarian to rule out any medical or behavioral issues. Crate training can be a rewarding experience for both you and your dog. By understanding the reasons behind barking and implementing the strategies outlined above, you can create a positive association with the crate and transform it into a safe and comfortable haven for your furry friend. Remember, patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement are key. With time and dedication, your dog will learn to love their crate and enjoy their quiet time. Finally, crate training is just one step in your dog's overall training journey. Consider enrolling in a positive reinforcement training class to build a strong bond with your dog and address any other behavioral challenges you might face. Happy training! Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time!